so hey guys sandy with another video here so today we will be looking at my submission for deep Graham hackathon 2022 uh, which is wise collab uh, deep Graham. so what we have done here is uh, we have built a vs code extension where it establishes a connection with the flask application that we have which can be which can be started with the vs code in, from inside the vs code extension so we did use TypeScript for building out the extension. So we'll establish a connection with the Flask application that is running. And we also have a web page which can display the transcript text as well so that we could see what is the exact test that is being you know, returned from the deep gram. So this is a simple diagram that shows what is happening. So we have two WebSocket connections. One is for, for from the VS Code extension to the Flask application and from the Flask application to the DeepGram. So we have both these running. And we also have uh, text-to-speech, uh, which Python does. And most of the operations that uh, this extension does is through Python. So from, VS Co uh, from TypeScript, we don't do a lot. We just have a WebSocket connection. Uh, but most of the application, uh, you know, whatever is running, whatever the code that we are running, uh, whatever the actions that we are performing, uh, everything is done in Python. So let's look at a demo on how this works. So here we have the extension installed. So once you have this extension, so I, I will update this. So it is a older one. So hopefully you will have the updated one. Uh, and as you can see uh, it is turned off now so what we'll do is we'll try to enable it so we do have uh, a couple of commands that you can use so setting up this can be a bit uh, not i wouldn't say harder but uh, could be hectic but you have to do it for the first time so once you do it for the first it is like a one time uh, doable thing that you can do but mostly for a few of the systems, it might be you know, done with this command. So we can set up an environment and install the requirements for few of the fact that you have to install the npm installed inside the repo that is in the FAQ or the readme. So you can go through that. So what we'll do is we'll start the recognizer itself. So once you start, you have the info. We do log everything what is happening on the Python side. So you could see what is exactly happening. So we started it and it started somewhere on this uh, particular uh, uh, directory. So this is what we have and we'll do a refresh and then it is connected. So I think now whatever I'm talking, I think it would be transcribed. So as you can see, whatever I'm just uh, speaking out for this particular video, you could you know, see all the transcription coming out. So. Uh, what we'll do is we'll run, try to run a couple of the commands that we have so that it kind of, you can see what is happening and you can also see the commands it kind of takes and it tries to match with all these 15. So it kind of tries to match with all the 15 whenever you talk for a particular duration, it kind of breaks it down and it tries to match it with one of the 15 commands. So if none of the matches, it is no match form. Start build successfully triggered pipeline build so as you can see we have successfully triggered it and we also get a voice response so it is not just the feedback that you get but you also get this kind of a noise feedback so it kind of tells you that you know it is successfully done so we'll try one more uh, get total pipeline runs there are a total of 47 pipeline runs you will also check if we did have any um, run started so it has just started so whatever we have just set has started working so we can also see the list of all the runs that we had so far so there are a couple of in progress right now so these two are dynamic commands that you can use so we'll try to call someone on teams or email someone on teams email megan email megan so what happens is it kind of opens up the outlook for you so you don't have to do anything you just tell the command and it kind of goes to that particular uh, person you can just type uh, you know whatever you want to convey so that is pretty handy call alex 
so if you have the app that is installed locally you can use that you, know, you can just click so it kind of goes with every time you can directly call otherwise if you're using web you know it kind of takes few steps to get this uh, done so what you can do is if you want to call alex you know you can just start the call so that is one way of doing it uh, so this is pretty nice to have uh, So this would open up a team chat, so we'll see, open Alex chat. So this is again, it tries to open things in the web. So if you have the app locally installed, so it will directly go to the locally installed teams that you have. So you don't have to click every time you don't have to click this and that. So it kind of opens up the person's chat. So you can also add a number of people to this particular chat, it is not just these three people we could you know you could give the you can expand this list so that you get all the email ids and the names so it can match with any of the names inside this list so we do also have a couple of commands you can just you know ask for help you know it kind of gives you all the commands 15 commands here are some commands that you can use triggering azure devops pipeline create the requirements.txt file get all pipeline runs count, call someone on Teams, mail someone on Outlook, open up someone's Teams chat. So since it is the help command, so it kind of gives you the entire idea of what it gets. But uh, since it, this help is there, so make sure you don't, uh, you can modify with whatever you want. But basically, if you just say help, you know, this, kind, this command is triggered the seventh one so uh this is all about this app so you can also have various commands we do also have some jokes which is already there so these jokes and the stories are already written so if you want to add something new you can definitely do it so these are the names and the email ids that are getting popped up so you can replace this with or you can expand this list so that it matches with everything that we have so that is it for this particular video and I hope this extension can help you on your daily productivity. Just try to talk with it and have some fun. Thanks for watching. Catch you in the next one.